Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove your right front wheel. I want to go ahead and remove this little button right here. Right up underneath here, there's another plastic button securing the back section. I want to go ahead and do the same in the back. Once that button's out, you can tuck this down and out of the way. Inside the driver's side wheel well, there's a plastic button right here. Let's go ahead and pop that out. Across the front, we're gonna go ahead and remove all of our plastic push pins supporting the shield. Ours was damaged and we received it with some components missing already. The ones we do have, let's go ahead and remove those. We're gonna use a pick to get underneath a little bit. Go ahead and pry this open. And use a trim tool to go ahead and remove the center and pull the pin. Continue across the front. Now in the lower portion of the radiator, we have our pet cock or drain plug right here. I'm gonna turn that counterclockwise. Have your catch can underneath. Go ahead and drain your cooling system. Once all your coolant is drained out, go ahead and snug up the drain plug here. We wanna go ahead and remove our 10 millimeter bolt right underneath here. This is holding the bracket and our expansion tank for our radiator. Once you remove that bracket, we'll set that aside. At this stage here, if you want, you can open up the expansion tank. And if you have a suction tool, you can go ahead and drain any of the uh, antifreeze or coolant out of your reservoir. And I'll just go ahead and pop off our cap here off of our expansion. Let's go ahead and disconnect the connector on our AC cooling fan. You're gonna press on this little gray tab. I'm just gonna use our pliers here. Give us a little bit of assistance in pulling that off. And there we go. Just tuck that aside. We're gonna go ahead and remove our four 10 millimeter bolts holding both fans, the cooling fan and the two on this side here for our radiator fan. On the bottom side of the radiator fan, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the connector here. There's a little tab on there you can press and release. We're gonna use our pliers here to give us a little assistance. Go ahead and pop that free. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove our lower fan bolts here. I'm gonna switch over to our gear wrench over here. Give us a little more clearance. Once we get this out, we'll go ahead and remove our AC cooling fan. All right, down along the side here, there's gonna be a little connector that's pressed on to a little metal tab. I'm gonna use our pliers here. I'm gonna grab that whole connector and just wiggle it up and loose. With that separated, we'll continue to lift up our fan. Go ahead and loosen the hose clamp for your upper radiator hose. I'm just gonna slide this back. Now we're gonna go ahead and loosen the hose itself. I'm just gonna use the pliers just to loosen that and then pull it and twist it. Work that up and off. Go 
Grab your radiator fan. Work that up and out. Using a Phillips head screwdriver, we're gonna go ahead and release the center of this plastic lock button. And pop that up. Get underneath the bottom and pull that out. This next one's here, gonna use a pick. Get underneath the head, pull this up. Pull these out as we go across. And our last Phillips head right here. With those buttons removed, grab the cover, gently tug upward, set that aside. We're gonna use our 10 millimeter socket and remove the bolts holding our radiator support brackets. Go ahead and remove our brackets, set those aside. I want to go ahead and remove our lower clamp on our lower radiator hose to the radiator. Just going to use a pair of pliers and I reach down. You can also access this from underneath the vehicle. Slide our clamp back. Now what we're going to do is put a catch can underneath. Even though we drain the system, there could always be some residual with that can there. Let's go ahead and slide off our lower radiator hose. Just tuck that back and now take your radiator, slide it straight up and out. There's so a few components we want to swap over. I'm going to start with our lower portion. There's the rubber insulator grommets. Line those up and press that on. You want to grab your radiator cap, twist that, pop that off. And you also want to grab our expansion tank hose right here. Grab that and just twist that. Set that aside. Go ahead and slide our expansion tank port on here. Grab your radiator cap. There's a series of capture nuts. You want to install these. There's a little button or tab on the top of it. You want to line this up, press that in. That little tab will lock in and you want to repeat this throughout all of our little mounting positions. There's one right here that goes in. And we're going to flip this up and we have three across the top that just drop in. Let's go ahead and lower our radiator down. We have rubber grommets on the bottom of the radiator. They're gonna fit right into the lower cross member. We're gonna go ahead and install our upper brackets here. And bolt that goes in here. Just gonna get that, get the thread started. Install our passenger side. And get these threads started. Let's go ahead and snug them down. Go ahead and install our lower radiator hose to the lower port. Once we have the hose on, we'll go ahead and position our hose clamp. I'm going to go ahead and pre install our two lower bolts for our fan. When we lower down our fan, we have our little notches right here. These are gonna slip right over the bolts.
Now from the bottom side here, here's our fan, here's our little tab, and here's the bolts. There's one further over to the left. So we're going to lift up our fan, push it over, and drop it right down. With this lined up here, we're gonna go ahead and reach up and grab our wiring harness, run this over the top of our lower radiator hose. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this to our fan. Press it in until you hear it click, and you're good to go. Go ahead and position our fan. Get our upper bolt started there, and one on this side here. Once those are started, let's go ahead and snug those down. Now we're just anchoring plastic to plastic, so it doesn't have to be super tight. Once it snugs up, you're done. We're we'll gonna install our lower bolt for our AC condenser fan. Let's go ahead and lower our fan down. We're gonna line up the notch on the bottom of our fan with our stud. Then we'll go ahead and get our upper bolts installed. I'm gonna go ahead and raise up our fan, get it behind the washer, lower that down. I'm gonna we'll thread in that bolt a little bit more just to hold that in place. Before we tighten this, let's go ahead and get our two upper bolts installed. Let's go ahead and get our fan lined up. We did put a little bit of anti-seize compound on the bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and get these threaded in. And once these are threaded in, we'll go ahead and snug those down. Once these snug down, you don't have to tighten them down any further. Let's go ahead and tighten down these bolts right here. Once it gets snug, go ahead and stop and repeat for this side here. I'm gonna use a pair of pliers here. We're gonna grab this little gray connector here and it just sits on a little tab on the side of the fan shroud. So I'm gonna grab it with the pliers, just bring it over and press it down and on. So now it's hanging on that little bracket there. Next, we wanna reach down and grab our connector right here for our fan. Go ahead and bring this over, line that up. Press it in, you'll hear a click. And I'll put our lower pin into the fan assembly. Put this notch into this fan. Once that pops in, I'm gonna go ahead and take our bracket, line this up. All right, once that bracket is in place, I'm gonna go ahead and get our bolt installed. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down. Gonna install our expansion tank hose here. Grab your upper radiator hose, bring that on over, slip that onto the radiator. Just open up that clamp and bring that on over. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go start to fill our cooling system here. You wanna make sure that you have the correct Antifreeze recommended for your particular vehicle. And open up our expansion tank. And go ahead and start filling. Now once your radiator is full, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these components here. I'm going to reinstall our regular radiator cap. Then we're gonna add coolant to our expansion tank. There'll be a low and a full line on this here. You wanna go ahead and fill it up to the full line. We're then gonna go ahead and start up the vehicle. Let it run for about a half hour, 45 minutes. When that thermostat opens up, the engine will consume more coolant. Then we'll go ahead and open this up again and top off our coolant as necessary. And light up our radiator cover here. Install our plastic push pins. There's three across the front. Go ahead 
ahead and fill up our coolant reservoir to that max line up top. I'm going to go ahead and install some of our plastic push pins here. Let's go ahead and install your wheel. Get our lug nuts all started by hand first and then we'll snug those down. We're going to torque our lug nuts to 80 foot-pounds. <laughs> 